Let's do one more. Now, I, I was I was uh, I was asked uh, uh, a while back, ah, two two years ago actually now, to write the theme song to a podcast which is called the 365 Days of Astronomy. Now, I don't know if you know this podcast, but it's a really, really, really great podcast. It's it's uh, produced by Pamela Gay, who is one of the nicest, sweetest, smartest brains, body, both babes you'll ever know. Uh, she's really, really great, and she did this. She she called me up and she said, "We're having this podcast. It's going to be user." driven so anyone who wants to do five minutes can pick a day out of the year and talk about something that's near to their heart that has to do with astronomy or planets or physical sciences or whatever and uh, I said sure great what 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 should it sound like what do you want and she said okay the theme song should not sound like Enya <laughs> and I said I can totally do that so what we came up with was this, and I'm going to teach you the important part of the chorus because you look like the kind of crowd that can handle it. Yeah, and remember, the Kiwis were really good at this, so I'm keeping score. Here we go. You ponder the universe and a look comes across your face. You try to fathom distances of all the stuff in space, but you can't wrap the bacon of your mind around the feet. Of all the terms required to describe how big is big So let me get specific And use words scientific Go whip out your thesaurus For this exacting chorus Ready? This stuff is far It's far, far, far away We're talking far like over far You can't even if I go today It's super, super crazy Probably not just false stars Wait, so I mean it's far Sense all the explosions going off inside your brain As your mind gets blown by what I just did explain Sorry if my words might drive you all insane But that's what happens when precision is your middle name So with an exacting factor Like some sextant or protractor Using details quite semantic I'll show how huge is this gigantic This stuff is far up some technical assistance and haven't caused your ticker too much ventricle resistance but you have got to listen and trust my insistence that I am very accurately describing the distance one more time this far. This far, far, far. very much ladies and gentlemen thanks to elvin thanks to the building thanks to peter on sound my name is george rob geologicpodcast.com thank you australia you are really 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 cool thank you. let's hang out let's have a drink here we go